Ms Walker. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Mr Deputy Speaker, I, I can't support this legislation tonight. I can't support criminalising a parent for seeing a child in, in the park over the coming months. It's not within my DNA to do that. But, Mr Speaker, of course I will, I will follow the law and, and respect the law. You have the argument in the House of Commons, you divide, you're on the winning side or the losing side, and I will be on the losing side. There is no, no doubt of that. But I do not wear the fact that I will support um, the law with great virtue, because it's so easy for me to comply with the law, isn't it? It's so easy for most people in this House to comply with the law. We're comfortably off. We live in nice houses. We have gardens. We have outdoor spaces. We have access to family. The same applies to those journalists who, who fill our TV screens every night with their wisdom and wit about how people should comply with these regulations and how they sneer at those that can't. But Mr Speaker, Mr Deputy Speaker, the next three months are going to be really, really hard for a lot of people, a lot of people who don't have my advantages, my advantage of a monthly salary, a monthly pension payment. These are people who are going to be worrying about their jobs, about their future, about their mental health, about their family relationships, because they will miss people terribly, or they will be in very small environments where apparently they can only leave to exercise once a day, once a day. And then, sadly, some of these people are going to break, and it's going to be too much for them. And that is when we in this place the journalists up there with all their privileges, instead of sneering and dismissing them, instead of calling them COVID idiots, should show some compassion and understanding. Because we should wear our advantages and privileges with great humility. I don't want to hear from another constituent who's having a good lockdown. I'm really pleased that you are. But my voice is for those who aren't, for those of my friends and neighbours and constituents who are struggling day in and day out, whose mental health is not in a healthy state but has deteriorated, who are wondering how over the next few months in the middle of winter they are going to cope with this. So in my remaining remarks, can I just ask colleagues, can I just ask people out there who were so fortunate to show some compassion and understanding for those who are not so fortunate? Yeah, yeah, yeah.